thought I'd do just one more example. So if a square side length is a triple, how would the new error compare to the old error? So you're going to look to new to old in that order, new to old. Okay. Um, several ways you can do this. So you're talking about a square and talking about area. Okay, so the area of a square is base times height. I'm going to teach you algebraically and then show you by just making up numbers. Um, the area of the old is going to be just base times height. Then what you're going to do before you write down the area of a new is do whatever they tell you. If a square side are tripled, the lengths are tripled. So we're going to triple the base. So I'm going to triple, which means I'm going to multiply the th uh, by 3 to the base. Actually, I'll just write it here. I'm going to triple the base and then multiply it by the height, which I'm also going to triple because it said the length. So I'm going to triple the height. So 3B times 3H is going to give me 3 times 3 is 9BH. And on this side, I'll have BH. Go ahead and simplify it. If I just divide by BH, as long as I do it to both sides, this is going to cancel that, that's going to cancel that, that's going to cancel that, that's going to cancel that. All I have is 9, and anything divided by itself is just 1. So it's 9 to 1. But if you don't understand the algebra portion, I'm just going to show you how you can do it. The same thing, we're just making up numbers. Go ahead and make a number for B and H. doesn't matter what you make up. Now, keep in mind, it is a square. <laughs> so obviously, the length have to be what? The same. So if I choose, let's say I choose the base to be 3. All right, it doesn't matter. The height, the height of it also has to be 3. Area when base is 3 and height is 3 is just 3 times 3, which is 9. Now, to find the new area, I'm going to triple the length. So base, I'm going to triple the length. So 3 times 3 is going to give me 9. And I'm going to triple the height. So that's also going to give me 9. So to find the area of the new one is base times height, which is 9 times 9, which is going to be 81. Go ahead and simplify what goes into both of those. Well, 9 goes into 9 one time, and it goes 9 goes into 81 um, 9 times. So your ratio C is still going to be 9 over 1, 9 to 1, sorry. And it works with any numbers. So I'm going to change the numbers here and do the exact same thing and see what happens. So let's pick a number. Let's pick, um, shall we pick 10? Pick even a big number, but, you know, stick to the smaller numbers. 10, 10, and then the new one's going to be triple 10. So it's going to be 30, 30. All right, area is 10 times 10 on this one, on the old, 100. And this one is 30 times 30, which is 900. Simplify by 100. And again, you know, you can pick smaller numbers until you get there. Um, this 100 divided by 100 is going to give you 1. 900 divided by 100, this is going to cancel, it's going to give you 9. So you see how you, it still works out that you'll have the same. If you prefer the algebra, go with the algebra. If you like, you know, just making up some numbers and, and putting them in there, that's fine too.